Filming complies with local government's COVID-19 health and safety requirements. Additionally, singers were tested for COVID-19 prior to participating in on-site filming projects where appropriate. Good evening. I'm Santita Jackson, and I'm here today with my brothers Jesse and Jonathan Jackson, representing our family foundation, the Jackson Legacy Foundation. We are proud to support the Chicago Children's Choir and its long-standing Black History Month program. I'm also a proud alumna of the Chicago Children's Choir. And you know, when I joined the choir, it felt like coming home. It's located in Hyde Park, one of the few integrated neighborhoods in an otherwise segregated city, Chicago. But this was a welcoming community. It was a melting pot. It is a melting pot of all colors, kinds, and creeds. At the Chicago Children's Choir, all music has equal value and has been given the utmost attention and care down through the years from European classical music to African-American religious hymns. And so, right now, we celebrate Black History Month, which exists because our history has been ignored and underappreciated and undervalued. But it is American history. It's my history, it's your history, it's our history. And so we at the Chicago Children's Choir have always celebrated the contributions of African-Americans. On both sides of the baton, we were able to see people of all colors connect and create the opportunity to make music with people you may not otherwise meet is an opportunity to build peace and to share love. After all, you cannot fight and sing together at the same time. Black heroes, down to the river, deep in the roots, drenched in the soil is where you'll find the truth. Black history, black history, black history, black history, passed down by the elders, buried in the books, looked past by the schools, but everywhere you look, black history, black history, black history, black history, ring shouts and spirituals, guided and consoled, black heroes, there's wade in the water, follow the drinking gourd, swing low sweet chariot, sung by Harriet, songs of the underground railroad, Harriet who? Harriet Tubman helped free black people, paving the way for all black heroes. Ragtag, fun and syncopated, the king of rags, Scott Jock, Scott Jock. Lift every voice and sing the black anthem. There would be no blues if it wasn't for blacks too. Bessie Smith, Muddy Waters, Ma Rainey, and Big Mama Thornton. The Roaring Twenties enriched for black excellence. I, too, am America. Langston Hughes wrote, Margaret Bonds put the poem to music notes. Florence Price composed many a night. The first black woman played by an orchestra, Chicago Symphony Orchestra. In fact, we got jazz, bebop, Duke Ellington, Satchmo, Mr. Louis Armstrong, the queen of scat, Ella Fitzgerald, Dizzy Gillespie, and Billie Holiday. Rock and roll can fill your soul. Chuck Berry, Little Richard, sing songs of freedom. We shall overcome, we shall not be moved when the revolution can't forget about Motown, makes you want to dance, makes you want to move. No, we can't forget about Motown, founded by Barry Gordon. And no, we didn't mention everyone. Black history spans far and beyond, but we hope you've learned how far we've come, how music brought us to this day. The songs of Africa linger anyway. The songs of Africa linger anyway. They never strayed, paving the way for black heroes today. Welcome to Chicago Children's Choir's annual Black History Month program. This event would not be possible without the hard work and dedication of our students, families, and schools. We are deeply grateful for our community of supporters, and especially to the Jackson Legacy Foundation and Jamie and Brian Vandenberg for their generous support of our Black History Month program. Thank you for joining us. In 1926, the architect and father of black history, Dr. Carter G. Woodson, implemented Negro History Week, which gave us the blueprint for Black History Month decades later. Dr. Woodson imagined utilizing the appointed time to begin unearthing truths of the African-American experience that would inspire a new black consciousness and spur on educators towards teaching year-long African-American history and heritage to all children. 
This most unusual time has allowed Chicago Children's Choir to collectively take a deeper examination into the roots of the African sound and spirit in American music. In creating an extensive digital curriculum underscoring the influences of West African music traditions, we journeyed together in our study of the ancient African provenance, the ring shout, which was the seed of new forms like the extemporaneous spiritual, African American game songs, ragtime, blues, jazz, bebop, rock, soul, gospel, gospel, spoken word, hip hop, shall I go on? We received firsthand knowledge and insight through musical workshops with Gullah culture preservers Ranky Tanky and the incomparable Bobby McFerrin on spirituals. It is an undisputed truth that we as a nation have starved generations of learners from knowing America's most original forms of music sourced by enslaved Africans in America. So we must work through the shame of our dark past to gain back our truth. To continue with such exclusions is to delegitimize and decontextualize African-American music, to frame it as outside the purview of both general social history and the history of music. Our staff at Chicago Children's Choir knows that our singers and all students need this empowering history. So we continue in our commitment to preserve this bigger than America story through rigorous, unfiltered education so that our singers will do their part in preserving the African musical traditions in America that continue to aid us in persevering past racial injustice.
specifically talking about the islands from uh, Wilmington, North Carolina, down the coast um, to the top of Florida that has what we affectionately refer to as the Gullah Geechee Corridor and how on these islands many years ago, uh, former West African slaves lived. Many of their traditions and customs and things passed on uh, through the oral tradition mostly. Now what we do as Ranky Tanky is we interpret a lot of the songs and kids games uh, into a contemporary style. Uh, just, just having a bassist, a drummer, uh, or a set, you know, a drummer, an electric guitar, and a trumpet already gives it a, a whole level of being contemporary. Many, many, many years ago, they basically used their voices to sing, of course, their hands to clap, and their feet to stomp. And that was how music was made. Oh, step it, step it, step it down. Oh, sing your love and turn around. Oh, sing your love and turn around. Chuba, 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 chuba. Oh no, stop y'all. You can't just sing juba. You gotta do juba. Do juba? What do you mean? Juba is dancing and drumming from Africa. Sometimes it's the only way I can say how I feel without getting in trouble, especially if I don't like the way I'm being treated. When I do Juba, I understand it, the ancestors understand it, and so do my loved ones. It's like a secret language that expresses feelings or plans, just like many spirituals. Thanks for the history lesson, but how do you do Juba? Patience, grasshopper. Juba involves dancing and drumming. Our bodies become the drums, we clap, tap, and pat. Slave owners didn't like the African drums and destroyed them out of fear of Africans communicating. But they couldn't take the African rhythm in their hearts away. Better known as Juba. Let's do Juba then. Follow me. One, two, three, four. Juba, 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 Just as the birth of Chicago Children's Choir was a form of peaceful protest, an intentional coming together of youth from different backgrounds through the unifying power of music, so too were the sit-ins in which my father participated. Encouraged by the sit-in movement were other forms of nonviolent protest, such as wade-ins, in which demonstrators demanded equal access by stepping into whites-only waters. This occurred here in Chicago, on a south side beach not far from my home called Rainbow Beach. Chicago Children's Choir is creating a living history of these events through an original music piece, and I'm pleased that the organization continues to bring our history to a new generation.
Hey there, this is Jay Nicole Brooks, and I happen to be one of the writers of this fantastic new work, Rainbow Beach. And uh, well, one of my favorite things as a lifelong Chicagoan is learning about stories, good, bad, and ugly. And this is definitely one of them. So it is my great, great pleasure to say, please sit back, listen, and please open your hearts and mind to this wonderful piece. Wait in the water, wait in the water, children, wait in the water, that's gonna trouble the water. Devil is a liar and he knows it well. Keep your eyes on freedom. Devil is a liar and he knows it well. Keep your eyes on freedom. So I will rise up with my sword and shield and my soul will be free. Devil is a liar. Take your faith and hold it long. Hello, I'm Wynton Marcellus, your Managing and Artistic Director of Jazz at Lincoln Center. To all of my beautiful young singers in the Chicago Children's Choir, congratulations for all your hard work, your artistry, and commitment to learning America's collective history through song. 
The best of our choral music traditions help us to understand and embrace fundamental values and practices of community and of democracy. For example, the relationship between a soloist and an ensemble shows us how to harmonize the individual with the collective. While just participating in rehearsals and performances give us respect for mutual collaboration. We also call it teamwork. Today, we desperately need the full depth of America's best music to inspire us to face adversity with optimism, with creativity, and with the power of knowledge. You know, this year has showcased incredible human resilience. It's shown us the transcendent power of perseverance. We've all found new ways to connect with each other and to make our voices heard. On behalf of parents, teachers, fans, and supporters, our interest and investment in you, youth of the Chicago Children's Choir, <laughs> has allowed us all to dream more boldly and to imagine a brighter future, and for that, we thank you. Please don't stop here. I want you to stay activated and follow your instincts. I hope you all remain committed to excellence, and I hope that you continue to pursue what you want to pursue with integrity. Please keep making music. And remember, make us feel where you're coming from. Thank you so much. My life is a gift, but racism has shifted its joy equilibrium. Tilted off my square, some people don't want me here. I have to persevere and preserve my ancestry. But I'm so tired and thirsty for equality Drinking from secretly segregated water fountains, wading in troubled water meant to drown me. Luckily, I can swim. But what about the rest of them? It's hard to freely float when shackles limit strokes. Trying to steal my vote, storm the Capitol with guns in 2021. All because democracy won? If those people looked like me, would have been a different story, a tragic reality, but par for the course of black life. Who will make it right? Can we finally just tell the truth? In classrooms, show the movie Roots, transatlantic slave trade, Tulsa, Rosewood, Henrietta Lacks, Chairman Fred Hampton, all heinous acts and all facts. If little women and anything by Mark Twain is required, then Langston Hughes and Zara Neale Hurston should equally be allowed to inspire. Music from the African diaspora should be held in the same esteem as their white counterparts who stole their dreams. Watch all 14 episodes of Eyes on the Prize and free yourself of the lies. Because without allies, black people will continue to die right before our eyes. Much courage is needed for the enemies of black people to be defeated. Apathy, inequity, racism, injustice must cease. We have to get along. Seek peace through policy and song. Stand strong, even if it's alone, for what's right. Embrace the human in us all at first sight. Matters not what our skin colors look like. Let's fight to end racial prejudice together. If not now, then when?
that music indeed touches the soul. Plato said that music and rhythm find their way into the secret parts of the soul. Miss Mahalia Jackson said that music, her aim in music was to bring all of God's children together. Chicago Children's Choir has done an outstanding job across the city and has indeed touched the nation and has moved around the world. We know that there is life in music. There is love in music. There is hope in music. This is a healing force, and I wish them continued success. I'm honored to be a part, and we wish you Godspeed. Yeah. 
My name is Coda Lewis, I'm 17 years old, and this is my 10th and final year in the Chicago Children's Choir. This is also my last Black History Month, so I want to thank you all so much for joining us here today. I hope you enjoyed the program and continue to be safe and be kind to one another.
country but come strong like one big army We're now focused on the past We're raising our different taste Waste time with what happened yesterday Looking ahead, speeding past across the highway